Hello? Hey guys, what's going on? It's Luke here, and today I've got a brand new episode of Primary School Stories for you guys. So in this episode, I talk about camp, and camp in primary school is insane. It is awesome. You love camp in primary school. You've got to do all these awesome things like a flying fox, go to a petting zoo, pat some awesome animals, um, let them pat you if you want to, whatever you're into, and then there's trampolines, swimming pools. Did I mention the flying fox? I love the flying fox, honestly. I thought it was awesome. And I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about, the giant swing where you get raised up and you just drop and you get harnessed in, otherwise you'd, you know, you went flying off. And, uh, you know, a kid at our school actually did that, but, you know, that's why we named the school in memory of Johnny Wilt. I'm um, just kidding, guys. Nothing like that happened, but... I remember one camp, I was in grade three, and there was archery, and I loved archery. I thought every chance to get an archery lesson was insane. I think I had about three, and I loved it, you know, shooting at balloon targets. I wasn't really into shooting at the kind of big target thing. I mean, I just found it a tiny bit boring, so I love shooting the balloons and also trying to split an arrow. I think I split an arrow into an arrow into an arrow, and that's why they caught I'm kidding again. I've got to stop doing that. But one night I actually went out and grabbed a what is it called, a bow and arrow, when everyone was sleeping, and I just went to the petting zoo, and I just, you know, released, and the amount of chicken, I'm kidding, guys, again, I've really got to stop that, sorry about that, but anyway, back to the story, what happened was, I was at camp, I think I was in grade, what was it, three, so I was about nine or ten, and there was this huge flying fox going across a dam, now, this was awesome to me, now, I'm lining up for the flying fox, and I'm seeing two kids that was a couple years older than me or one year older than me and they're down the bottom of this hill looking at daffodils or daisies or whatever you want to call them, yellow flowers. I'm not even kidding. And they're picking up. I think they're making bracelets and these are two dudes and I'm like, yeah, do what you want, boys. Um, just not in front of me. I don't want to get persuaded. No, I'm kidding. I don't want to get persuaded but what happened was I'm like, that is, I just want to see what they're doing. I've got like a line of like five people flying fox and agree with me on this guys in the comments. At camp or wherever you go, if there is a line for something, oh my God, it is just the boringest thing. So if there's a line for a flying fox, you have to wait because the person has to get strapped in, go all the way back down the bottom, get strapped out, pull the flying fox all back up, and it takes it. It is just horrible. It is terrible. It's like the line to go into a brothel. And if you don't know what a brothel is, don't look it up. Don't think about it. Just know that I've been to one when I was about 23 and... All right, that's a lie. I've really got to stop. I'm not even 23. I'm 24. Okay, that's a lie. I am 17, just for you guys that know, and I think I'm 18 in the 12th of September, so it's coming up, so I'm looking forward to that. But anyway, so I look down the bottom of the hill, and I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I'm already harnessed. Like, I'm not harnessed to the, you know, big flying fox, but I'm harnessed, so I'm ready to go if they call me. I'm going to go check them out. So stupidly, this is a huge hill. I'm not even kidding, guys. This is a huge hill. I start running. And I start running down this hill and I trip and this was so painful. Now, this is the second injury that happened because the, before this, a kid actually jumped off the bed in our camp and broke his arm and had to go home. Now, me, on the other hand, I'm rolling down this hill, guys. I'm not even kidding. I am spinning, doing backflips, rolling. I am going continuously. Now, if you do not know what it looked like, search on YouTube. This is the only thing I can think of. Or if you've seen it, The Simpsons. When Homer tells Bart not to jump this giant gap, this giant gap that could kill him, it's one of the old episodes, and Homer actually accidentally goes down the skateboard and he falls down this massive kind of cave cliff thing, whatever you want to call it, and just keeps banging his head. That was me, but it wasn't my head, it was like my shoulders, my elbows, and I just kept rolling. And I got all the way down the bottom with all these cuts up my arms, crying, bruises. I felt, I felt like shit, guys. I'm not even kidding. It felt terrible. So I did you know, get held up and all, and people carrying me all the way down to um, to where the camp main office is to treat me. And as I'm going off and crying, I basically hear the two kids getting yelled at, like, what were you doing down here picking daisies, you stupid kids? You know, he's younger than you. You've got to be a role model. I'm, I'm just crying there and, you know, ended up being all right, just a couple of bruises, but everything was all good, guys. So hopefully you enjoy this video and I'll see you later. Thank you so much for watching.